Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Jagdpanzer 38T Hetzer. It's the Tier 4 German tank destroyer. It's located on the north spawn of El Halouf, and this one is under the command of Beerwaller. Game underway. Now he's got the 105mm gun, which I can recognise is, is unmistakable right at the front of the vehicle um it's capable of doing 350 alpha and penetrating 64 millimeters of armor and it's got a reload time of 8.25 seconds by the book but he's got 7.89 on his vehicle now i have to tell you straight from the start that that is a fictitious gun because the germans did intend to put a 105 millimeter gun onto the hex and they were planning to do so but they never got around to finishing it before the end of the war. So no Hetzers went into action with a 105mm, but they did have the 75mm that you see in the game, and it was a very effective gun at that, incredibly effective, could penetrate just about any British armour, any Allied armour for that matter. In fact, oh, beautiful shot there on the M5. Penetrated him for 465. And he's gone. Now, the um, the story of the Hetz is quite interesting because uh, apparently there was a massive shortage of Stug 3s during the war. And uh, the Germans just couldn't manufacture enough of them quickly enough. And the reason for that was that their factories were getting bombed. Nice hit on the Stug 3, but it was a non-penetrating shot, that one. Goes the M2. And he takes that guy out with one shot. Gone back to the M5. Lost sight of him. No, he's lost sight of that guy, so... He's probably in that bush, but... No, he's just hitting the ground now. So they had a shortage of Stug 3s. And they needed something to replace it. And, well, the Romanians had come to the Germans during 1943 with one of their designs called the Marisal. And it was quite very much like the Hetzer in design, wedge shaped or rhomboid shaped, you might say. And uh, it was a very effective little tank destroyer. But uh, the Romanians were more interested in getting an order from the Germans for their factories in Romania and for building their Marisal as, um, uh, and then selling it to the Germans. But uh, the Germans took one look at it and said, oh, we can do something like that. And they went ahead and designed the Hetzer, uh, which actually at the time was just known as the Jagdpanzer 38T because it was built on the Panzerkampfwagen 38T hull the successful tank that was built by the uh, Czechs at the Pilsen factory, the Skoda Works. In fact, in the Pilsen game, you see loads of Hetzer hulls lying around, littering the place, because they were manufacturing so many of them. Okay, he's locked onto the Panzer 3J, and he's got another kill. That's two. Now, the... The Hetzer hull, or rather the Panzer 38T hull, was also used for the Marders. Withdraw from that position. And it was used for various other German um, tanks because it was so reliable. It was cheap to build, it was small, but it was reliable. And of course the Germans liked reliability in their vehicles. Okay, he's loading a heat round now for that Smur. Probably a bit overkill for a smoke because it's very thin armour. He's lost sight of all the guys because there was no one spotting, but here comes the S35. He knows he's been seen because his sixth sense goes off. And well, that heat round did not do so well because it hit the tracks. He's going for another shot. That one did go through. 321. He's loading HE for his next shot. But he had to pull back. But the armour on the head says at 60 degrees. So most rounds will just bounce straight off the frontal armour. Which is actually 60 millimetres thick at 60 degrees. So it makes it very, very strong indeed. 
aims for the turret or the component rather of the uh, Panzer or it's actually a Samua S35 I think that one there so three kills now for Beerwaller unfortunately there's only three left on his team the rest of them have fallen apart and here comes the Samua he's locked on and blows him out of the uh, game so that's four kills now just lost the dumb teammate it's just him and an RT a T18 HMC so anyway they um, took the designs to the the Pilsen works and said build the uh, the tank the Panzer, Jack Panzer and in fact actually the name Hetzo had actually been applied to another vehicle but they got them mixed up in the documentation and when the vehicle was sent out to the troops the troops liked it a lot and they gave it the name or kept the name Hetzo and that's how it ended up with it. Hetzer means hunter. I know some people have said it means beta, that it's to do with baiting jobs, job dogs. I think, uh, yes, uh, it was um, Jingles who actually tried to suggest that. Um, no, it's not to do with baiting dogs. It's actually a hunting term. Hetzer. Somebody who hunts is a Hetzer. There goes the Panzer three. That is his fifth kill. He'll get a top gun if he can take out the M3. And I don't think that guy will quite easily penetrate your armor. So you can just drive straight towards him. Oh, he did get around him, but it was APCR. And that's his top gun. And the enemy's coming to him, so he doesn't need to move from this position. And he's got the Panzer Seb's file of her to Ein C. But the RT made his presence known. And so he's going to have to move. There's only three enemies remaining now. So, how many did they build? 2,800 of them. 2,800, that's a lot. That's a great many of these tanks, but they, they were very popular. They did work very well. They were very difficult for the enemy to kill because they were so low. And he's just killed a Stug 3B. That means there's now two on two. And he's now got eight kills and a rad. Well, no, he doesn't get a rad these actually because he's tier four. And in tier 4 you cannot get a Radley's. But he would have got a Radley's if it was allowed. So um, they actually built these things and were still building them towards the end of the war. And in fact the Czechs sold 158 of them to the Swiss who liked them. And in fact virtually every Hetzer you see in any military collection nowadays was a Swiss machine. Because the Swiss kept them in perfect working order. And so uh, many of the ones you see are Swiss. In fact, virtually all of them. Only a few are actually original German machines, and most of those are fairly badly worn or damaged. Now, many people consider it a bit of a steel coffin because the metal was so thin at the sides and the rear. And if you've actually inspected a Hetzer for real, and I have, it's very thin metal indeed, so I wouldn't be too happy about getting in this thing because, yes, it is a bit of a steel coffin. In fact, one fact is true that Guderian, Heinz Guderian, the tank uh, general, field, field marshal, actually requested that the engine was changed from the petrol engine that was originally fitted by the Czechs and turn it into a diesel engine, a Tatra engine, I think it is the name of the vehicle because the diesel was uh, less likely to catch fire if the vehicle was penetrated. It's also incredibly cramped inside this vehicle. It is like a coffin in the sense you're trapped in there with three other personnel, so there's four, a crew of four, and uh, it's very, very cramped indeed. In fact, the gun's on one side of the vehicle, which means it, it's only got an arc of 15 degrees to the right, and five degrees to the left because if the gun tries to turn left it comes up against the wall of the vehicle at the side and so they have to remember that um, if you're gonna aim at the target you have to aim with the vehicle slightly to one side of the target so that um, you can move the gun either side and get a good arc the driver is on the other side of the vehicle as you can see there the driver ports actually on the front the machine gun on top of the vehicle is remote control. Yeah, they actually had it back then. They can operate the machine gun and swivel it so they can attack troops who are coming towards them. And they never had to get out of the vehicle to do it. And uh, at some, some of the uh, 
German, uh, I think they call them, is it Mini Tracks or Mini Works? There's a um, German festival of um, military armour and they actually have Hetzers appear and they are very popular. Now on the uh, Western Front, the Germans actually made 50 of these into flame-throwing tanks, but they were very vulnerable. He's found the Hetzer, uh, the Wesper. That's the same guy who fired the Timurni and he's not moving. Maybe he's AFK. Well, he's out, he's out the game now. And the other guys across the valley. Now, I'm not so sure if um, Beer Waller can get across the valley in time, but he's going to probably... Oh, he stopped capping. And I think he stopped capping because he suddenly realised where Beer Waller is. Might be a good idea for Beer Waller to get into the cap. There's the T-18 in the middle. He should make his way to the cap whilst Beer Waller goes to reset. Instead, he's aiming towards their cap. The RT trying to fire in an RT round to get a reset. The thing about the Hetzer is, if you can, you want to aim for either the areas next to the tracks, um, the lower hull next to the tracks, or the sides and rear of the vehicle, because those are the weak spots. The metal is very, very weak there. 20 millimeters on the sides, eight on the rear. It's very, very weak indeed, but 60 millimeters on the front, and that's why that round bounced off, and two rounds bounced off. It's getting very close. He's going to have a little drive just to get round to get the cap in sight, but he's changed his course to get a view of the cap much, much quicker. It's going to be a last second thing. He needs to get a hit the moment he spots him, and he's found him. It's a Hetzer. Yes, he gets the reset. Now, the Hetzer's being hit by Artie. And he gets another hit, but he doesn't pen. The Hetz is firing back. It looks like he's got the 75mm gun. And now he's out the game. And that's a win. 10 kills for Beer Waller. What a great game. And here's the end of battle results for the Jagdpanzer 38T Hetzer. It was an ace tanker for Beer Waller on the El Halouf map. He managed to get a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he ended up with 27. He also got Demolition Expert because he blew up one of the tanks that he actually hit. He got a Duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him and a Fiver Effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. He got a Defender medal because he reset the cap with only a few seconds to spare and got at least 70 defense points in the process, a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a Top Gun for getting at least six kills he actually ended up with 10 but you just cannot get a pulse medal at tier 4 i'm afraid because war gaming won't allow it if you look at the team scores we can see yep he's got a total of 3236 hit points the only other player who managed to get over a thousand hit points and that was the jagdpanzer 38t hetzer on the enemy team the one in the cap he got 1018 hit points of damage but he was the only one who got over a thousand. The next high score being the Chihi, who got 932. When it came to kills, he was the highest with 10. That's more than three times the next highest scorer, which was the Panzerkampfwagen 3 Absolung E on the enemy team. He got three kills. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's streets ahead of the others with 1,398. The next high scorer being the Chi He who got 483, followed by the MTLS who got 478. So nearly four times, no, nearly three times as much as they did. He fired 25 rounds in that game, got 18 direct hits and nine penetrations and nine splash. Damage of 3,236 hit points, of which 644 were at more than 300 meters. He received seven hits from the enemy, one of those penetrated, five non-penetrations, and one hit by way of splash damage as well. 317 hit points of damage blocked by armor. 
He spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged 11 of the enemy, killed 10, that's two thirds of the enemy team. And he also did 90 hit points of damage assistance. And he got 99 defense points, so just one short of getting the full 100 when he reset the cap. On a premium count, he earned 28,393 credits, got 50,000 from personal mission payout for getting the first win of the day. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away a profit of 69,584 credits altogether. 1,398 XP times two for the first victory, 4,194 altogether. So a fantastic game by Beerwalla. You don't often see Hetzers doing this sort of damage in a game. I must admit the only time I've actually got to uh, 10 kills in a game was actually in a tier 4 tank and yes I was a bit annoyed that I didn't get a pools medal as well but then again it does happen so um, you just have to roll with the punches but very well played by Beer Waller he did do that very well because the Hetzer is actually vulnerable if it's hit the right spot at the right time and if the enemy knows how to deal with a the Hetzer they'll get behind it as quickly as they can so that they can shoot him in the rear where the arm is so so weak that it's easy to penetrate so if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm, and thank you for watching.